contest is scheduled for one fall in Tennessee first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 218 pounds, E. Miller. This is Danny Jamondo. I am joined to the right side of me by MVP. MVP, I didn't expect to see you out here as my competition partner this evening. Oh, it's a pleasure. I am very paid to be here. Very paid to be here. And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 219 pounds, Kenny Omega. As we get the ring introduction of Kenny Omega, the man with fighting spirit. What do you think about Kenny Omega, MVP? Well, I got to tell you, Kenny Omega, I've never faced him in the ring, but I have faced off with Heath Miller. And, uh, I got one word for Heath Miller. Tenacious. Kenny Omega has to show me something. I've never squared off with either of the gentlemen, but I'll tell you this, Keith Miller has developed quite a following here tonight, but I would say he's got his work cut out for him with the quick fighting style of Kenny Omega. Well, I know if he doesn't do something early, he's going to be in a world of hurt because the last time we squared off, that's just what I did. Got on that arm, and it hindered him in the late, uh, late stages of the match. Heath Miller working over the arm of Kenny Omega. Nice forward roll and nip up by Omega. And take down by Omega. Okay, see, I'm seeing some quickness. O Omega is showing me some athleticism and quickness. See, MVP, you're quick yourself. That's what I said to start the match. I said, Keith Miller is going to have to watch out for the quick fighting style of Kenny Omega. Now, see, this is early on in the match, as you know. You gotta go ahead and have your, uh, what's your word looking for? You have to have your strategy set up right away. You have to come in with a purpose. And it looks like right away, Kenny Omega wants to get on that arm and establish that as the point of attack. Very erudite, very learned words by MVP. I agree. There's a trade off on throws there. One for Kenny Omega. One for one, if you will, on takedowns. Yeah, I see a, see a couple proverbial good guys here, you know, tit for tat, but somebody needs to establish right away a dominant position. And, you know, as you know what I'm going to do. I waste no time establishing my dominance. You know, I'm going to agree with you because, I, you know, tit for tat's only get you so far. But you have to take whatever opening you can to get advantage. Sometimes you got to create your own opening. You can't ask, oh, oh. Nice flip over there by Kenny Omega. Goes to a tight waist and drop toe hold. See, and that's Miller what comes about. out on top. Creating your own opening. See? You create that. Drop toe hold into the headlock now. Heath Miller's established the fact that he's in control. He created his own opening. I tell you, all that flipping flop high flying stuff, it looks great. But it's not always the most effective way to win a match. I always stick to the ground and pound. I'm going to agree with you again. I'm going to absolutely agree with you again. It's actually going back to the pure wrestling. That was the matches. Amazing drop kick by Kenny Omega. A nice arm drag takedown. Arm drag by Heath Miller himself. Now, see, here's my issue. I mean, obviously, that was a good exchange between the two, but it looked like that drop kick caught Heath Miller square in the face, but apparently there was nothing on it because Heath Miller was able to come back quickly and didn't even seem like he was dazed. Both men back on their feet. Kenny Omega out on top with a side headlock, cinching down on Heath Miller's back to the ropes. Big shoulder tackle by Kenny Omega. Good frog there. Make it for a second, favoring his shoulder. That might no, be the point of attack for Heath Miller. Yeah, that leg. Look, there's the knee. There's the knee. Heath Miller could be in trouble. Oh. I bet you that drop kick made a difference. Near fall by Kenny Omega. The knee's hurting Heath Miller. It's got him down. See, now that's the problem. See, these, good, you know, these, these nice guys. Here's Heath Miller in the corner. His knee's banged up. And Kenny Omega's halfway across the ring, not even attacking that knee so he can win this match. That shows me that he's he's not he's not a true killer. Well, you do have a five count sitting in the tunnel. So he's really playing by the rules. Drags him out to the ring to start working on the leg. Now, I agree, you got to seize the opportunity there, MVP. But playing by the rules, got him on top there. 
He's got Heath Miller in a compromising position. Listen, there's no compromise. I see you hurt. I'm, I'm zooming in on it, locking in. Back, there he is, back on the leg. See, that's what I'm talking about. A vicious kick to the leg. That's what you got to do. If you see your opponent's hurt, capitalize on it. Use that to your advantage so you can win. It's all about winning. You only get paid for wins. You only get paid for losses. That is the truth. That is the exact truth. What you call me a liar? I'll never do such a thing. Oh, Heath Miller looks like he could be in trouble. I think Omega's got it. I think Omega's got the right idea. Now, see, now that's what I was talking about, grounding and pounding. One thing I got to say, he's taking a little bit too much time in between working on that leg to take a look at the fans, get the fans, almost like getting their approval there. He needs to stay on the vicious attack on the leg. Yeah, he's really trying to start a comeback. Let's see if he can uh, get up on that leg and actually fight. He looks like he's in bad shape. Tip toss takeover by Heath Miller. Got a little momentum near fall, two count. I don't know. Back on that leg, that's what I'm talking about. Kenny Omega getting back on the leg, and that's how he's going to win this match, by staying on that leg and capitalizing on his opponent's injury. I think Omega's finally starting to realize the showboat and taking that extra second to look around. is not paying off. He's got to stay vicious. He's got to stay like a vicious attack dog. Stay on the leg. That's the only way he's going to make Heath Miller quit. Wait a minute. There's nothing wrong with a little showboat, man. You know what I'm saying? I think you people are here to be entertained. If you can do it, then you should do it. And let me guess, you're just the guy to do it. No, that's me. That's that's what I do. That's why I'm one of the highest paid entertainers in the business. In the business. To a clothesline. Oh, nice oh, neck breaker nasty. by Heath Miller. Now, and he caught him. I've been on the receiving end of that, and that will scramble oh. your eggs, baby. Oh. Right now. Keith Miller is on top because Kenny Omega was a little too confident and he got that neck breaker in. And I think Omega might be in trouble. You hear that, MVP? You hear that? That might be the deciding factor. The crowd solidly be behind Keith Miller right now. Oh, that knee, that knee. See, that knee giving him trouble. Back on it. See, I told you, man. I told you early on that knee is the key to Kenny Omega's success. Keith Miller mounted a comeback, but oh, he saw the attempt by Omega, and he misses. This might be the opportunity Miller needs right here. This might be that opening that we were talking about. But is he, is he okay? Oh, nasty clothesline. But is that knee going to keep him from mounting the comeback? He can barely stand. Look at him. Two right hands. Back chop by Heath Miller, mounting a little bit of offense here. He's got Omega rocking and reeling. Back to the corner, here comes big high cross body by Miller. But still, his leg is showing signs of weakness. See, this, is where, uh, this is where Miller needs to just go ahead and tie him up and go for a victory. Because his knee is giving him trouble and he's still on his feet. And that's not where he's going to win the match. He should have had Omega on the mat. Uh oh, this does not look good. Omega driver. That's got to be it. Two and three. And three count. Omega means the end, and it looks like Omega capitalized on the leg in the end and is Here the is your winner, Kenny Omega. What is this, man? See, this is disgusting. That's man. a show of sportsmanship, MVP, and you coming from a background in sports, that's something you should know about. Man, I know this. You leave your opponent on the field, on the court, on the diamond, you leave them laying. That's what you're doing. And between these ropes, there's no such thing as sportsmanship. It's all about W's and L's. And right now, Kenny Omega may be the winner, but he's a loser in my opinion.